so I guess you probably want to hear some of the stuff, my 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 some of my thoughts on what's my experience, and you want to talk about that a bit. Uh, I feel your users will want to hear. Your viewers are going to want to hear hear this thing. I, I'm going to put my hairy fingers in my ears and do this. <laughs> no, go go for it. Well, I just. Like the, before, like the feature request stuff. I do have like some general, like I have a couple of stutter issues. They're only stutter issues with the desktop effects. Like if I if I open up the tiling editor, it will stutter before I go into it. If I close the sil- a tiling editor, it stutters after I I leave it. It's like my mouse stops registering for a second. And same with things like opening up like the overview and things like that. Like there's a stutter before and a stutter after. I know this isn't like a a a one-off thing. I've seen some other people mention it, but other people say that AMD is perfectly rock solid, but I, I'm running AMD myself, so I, I don't know. Yeah, no, we, yeah. Well, the thing is, I, 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 I do know what bug this is. Uh, it's very frustrating. Because uh, obviously we, we time how long it takes to render a frame, and then we target things based on how long that last frame was and everything. Mm-hmm. And the way we do this is we ask a GPU, or oh, can I have a timestamp? And then we, you ask it asynchronously, and then at the end you say, what was your timestamp when, when we asked you? Mm. Right, because, it, because it's a separate channel. And that's great in paper, and it works great on ours, but then it turns out in real life, a lot of the GPU drivers just do random things. Uh, just report times that in the future, in the past, and we were, we're getting these things that, oh, it took zero seconds to render your last frame. Okay. Well, it takes zero seconds to render a frame. We'll, we'll, we'll schedule it here. And then, and then we have to wait till that catches up. And that's not helped by the fact that your GPU clock speeds up and slows down, speeds up and slows down. And when you activate an overview effect, it speeds up, and then it seems some throw away your timing information. And there's guards in the, uh, now mm-hmm. um, for when we get given surprise values from, from, from this hardware. Um, we're still going to have various issues. I mean, stutter is such a generic symptom that right, I mean, I'm right. not going to claim it's fixed with that particular issue, but I know we had that issue. A lot of debugging happened by people who were cleverer than me. And um, we came up with these guards, and to those people, it got fixed. Whether yours are the same, I don't know. We'll mm-hmm. find out when you get 603. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that came out today, didn't it? Well, don't test it now. And then well, no, I just haven't cool. updated today. No, uh, and, and stuttering something that's continually going to be improved upon and performance yeah, yeah. and whatnot. Um, okay. Honestly, I, I think... assume that wasn't it. Well, yeah. Well, I have uh, another... I don't know if it's the same stutter issue, but sometimes it like, completely locks up and the tiling editor doesn't even open. Um... So I, that could be the same sort of stutter, and it just... I, I, maybe I, like, click... maybe Because I, I know if you click the background, it closes the tiling editor. So maybe I accidentally mm-hmm. click on something, and it closes it before it opens, and it, like, during the time where it's locked up. So... I, I don't know. It's... Because it, it... Like, yeah. I, I don't know what the deal is with that. It, it It's it's a weird one. I It could be anything. As you said, stutter issues are weird. And... Yeah. Um... But that's like, it's like a, it doesn't happen consistently. It's like once every like 20 or 30 times I do it. So it's, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't Computers know. Computers are weird, right? They you'd are very expect, weird. You do the same, same thing, you get the same result. I mean, that's what logic tells you, what the maths tells you. That's what, mm. no, it's not what happens. Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, one of my issues I know is getting resolved in 6.1. Um, the way the edit panel works um Mm -hmm. so if you right now if you're in edit mode whatever edit mode is that what's called yeah edit mode um it's a globe edit mode and the panel edit mode yeah and then you click on the little tiny icon in the corner and that gets you into panel edit mode i i know that there's now going to be a big thing we just click on the panel um i know i wasn't the first one to suggest that but i'm happy it got implemented i don't want to get everyone thinking uh, if you make a youtube video your bugs get fixed. You know, it's not how uh, feature requests get fixed. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, the tiling that edit mode has always been a slow iteration, slow iteration. I mean, mm. And that's the way we do a lot of KDEs. 
iterate feedback, iterate feedback, iterate feedback, iterate, yeah. rather than at top down. And that can be good. You can get really good results out of this, constantly listening and evaluating. But it can also end up in this situation where you don't actually have a coherent big picture. Right. Until right, someone right. steps back and goes, actually, we need to look at a big picture again. Because in mean, that globe edit mode you were in didn't exist before. Right, yeah, I, I uh, heard there was some... Well, that was added, but then not really thinking about how that interacts with other things. Mm-hmm. And it's one of the things that if you're used to it, if you know it, you go, okay, I'm going to edit mode to panel. Yeah, that's what I got from a lot of people. A lot of the experience applies for people. They're like, no, it works fine. But... Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I think... If you're used to the old way of you had the desktop edit mode or you had the panel edit mode, it's fine. You just continue that thought process, mm-hmm. but... Something changed, not kept in sync. I think what's what's really important is because I I've been using Linux for a while, but I like five or six years now. But I I haven't I used have Plasma, Plasma before, so, before, so I can I just turn me up a bit. I can hear myself now. Okay. Uh, I couldn't hear myself the entire. Did you change your volume? Not knowingly. Uh... I don't know what happened there. Um, anyway, because um, I have no experience using Plasma before. Like I, I've used GNOME in a couple of streams just because people get angry when I use GNOME and it's funny. Um, but I, I hadn't actually actively used Plasma. So I'm going into Plasma seeing these like issues that might have been there since 5 or 4 or so on. And that to me, they are new experiences. And especially with like the UX stuff where... I am a new user to Plasma, so, like, the, the UX that is sort of treated as, like, this is just the way that Plasma works, like, I, I'm seeing this as, like, a new user, and maybe maybe it's fine the way it is, and I'm just stupid. Very possible. Very, actually, incredibly possible. Or maybe there actually is an issue there that people are just used to, and they never really thought about it being an issue because, well, that's just the way that Plasma's always worked. And it is useful to get that feedback from these new people. I mean, one of the best things that happened in one of the really good periods of, of Plasma when just one developer who worked in an office and he got his colleague uh, who sat next to him to switch to Plasma. Mm. And we got all of these merge requests that started with, I was watching my colleague do this task and... And then, and then every merge request came in that same format of, I saw this happen, this is why he fought up, this is the confusion... Here's how we fix is going to be. Mm-hmm. And they were some of the best series of patches of having that. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, just having someone telling you how things should work doesn't really work. Mm-hmm. But watching somebody else fail is really important. Yeah, I, I think that's... I, I hope that's what people can get out of the videos that I'm doing. Like, I know it can come across like I'm... I, it, some people see it as, like, me demanding changes. Like, that's not the way it is. Like, I would like changes to be made. Like, absolutely. I would like it to work the way that I would like it to work. But I also understand that, like, you know, someone has to implement it. And I like to say things kind of straight to the point. And I, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, I, you know, dance around what I'm trying to say for five minutes before I say anything. Like, I'm going to say exactly what I'm trying to say. And like, especially in, in like, the tiling case, because there, there's a lot of things I would like. I already brought up the quick tiling stuff before, but that's just, <laughs> just one of the things. Um... I would also like, uh, you know how there's like the load layout button? It would also be nice if there was like a way to save your current layout. If you install Plasma SDK. Um, but yes, it's, it's it just, in a way. But... Yeah, okay. So it, well, I, I, I think... Oh, you, I mean, no, that's me going with the developer mode of, oh, it is if you do this and this and this. Yeah, no, this. I think but you also brought... That doesn't, that doesn't help, but yeah, I mean, I, that was good feedback of you couldn't see how to do it. I think you brought up. It might have been you, or it might have been someone else who said in one of my, like one of my comments. Maybe, maybe it was someone else. I don't know. Someone brought up the fact that you can save existing panels and like put them into like. There's like a way you can like. There's like a file or a JavaScript file or something. It's a scripting you might. engine. Yeah, yeah, but there's no like yeah. it's, easy it's user base. In your themes, right? That's how we uh, started some of this. Mm. But like, there's no specific user facing save button. It's like. There's a developer way to do it, and you can write yeah, plugins yeah. and stuff. Like, obviously, there's plugins yeah, yeah. you can do, so there's a way to do it. But it's no like save like that. I believe Plasma SDK 
we did a whole set of tools of dumping ground, uh, a set of tools for people doing uh, third party add ons. Mm -hmm. That has a button where you I can see. in the look and feel editor, you can say, save my current layout so that you can then pop it to somebody else. Mm. If you do that with metadata packaging of saying, well, here's right, attached right. previews and here's my name and the email address and whatnot. Right. I, I, I'm not surprised but, it's, yeah, it's not, not what you're asking for. So but it, it's not like... So it doesn't tell me your case, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I, that's what I hope people get out of what I'm, I'm doing. Just, like, I am someone new to Plasma. Here are some things I think would be cool that I think would make it better. If someone wants to work on them, that's cool. If they don't, that's fine. But, like... A lot of the time, the things I'm bringing up also that maybe it's things people haven't thought of, or maybe they someone thought of like ten years ago and they forgot about it, and it just never got implemented. So it, it, it I like to open up like sort of a a discussion amongst like the community because you know there's a lot of people who have ideas, but they see the plasma issue tracker and they're like, I have no idea where to go. I know it's better than it used to be, but it's, <laughs> the, the plasma issue tracker is like I so I I wanted to add a a um wish list for like quick tiling like the thing regarding um quick tiling keys should interact with the tiling mm -hmm. editor so i i went to the plasma bug tracker then i went to the plasma section and then i went to kwin then i went to quick tiling and then i it like there's just so many for quin section rather than kwin whatever <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I initially searched for the Plasma section, but there was no, pli like, there's no, like, or oh, Plasma desktop section, sorry. So, I, yeah. Plasma desktop isn't a, a section there, it's a, it's another section. Um, but that's the, the, the Plasma bug tracker. I think that the problem with the Plasma bug tracker is just the fact that there are so many things under the Plasma banner. I don't know how you can make it easier to work with. It There's just too much there, so it's, yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. naturally going to be a nightmare. There's a lot of stuff. Um... I mean, it was a forum as well for right. that less intense. Uh, I guess this is why a lot of people just discussion forum. A lot of people will just like report things on the Reddit because they just don't know how to use the, the bugs. Yeah, like we, it's frustrating because that's also something. Someone who's not used Plasma or go see your social media. That's full of people saying it should work this way. It's not great. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so I don't want to fix things just because they're on social media. Sure, just sure. out of spite. Because <laughs> uh, I, I am very petty, but um, but yeah, I mean, I've got no objection to you doing your videos. I mean, when Linus from Linus Tech Tips did it, um, there was more follow up. So if you're on the same level, mm -hmm. uh, you can <laughs> look. I I will I will do more. I'll do more work than Linus did. I will make bug reports, which Ooh. is an improvement. Um, they will come in slowly because I need to find time to actually write them. And people are like, yeah. Brody, have you made bug reports, everything you made in the video? No, I haven't found time to sit down and actually write them all. But I'll get to it. <laughs> Soon, eventually. <laughs> it will happen at some point. Okay, well, I look forward to reading them. Yeah, assuming you can find them in... Assuming I report them in the right section. <laughs> if, if the thing reported to the wrong section, within reason, uh, gets found and moved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because people subscribe to just by date uh, for everything and just pop it in the right place if it's not. Right, so. right, right. 